Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and I want to thank you for being here with me today so far on a peaceful autumnal morning in my kitchen with my trusty Labradoodle Louie. We have gotten him breakfast, we have gotten me coffee, and now we are just going to clean up the breakfast dishes. Yes, I'm a tea hoarder. That's me showing my tea stash. I recovered one from by my living room chair from last night and one from this morning beside my bed. And I'm going to drink those later because I don't waste tea. I love me some tea. I am so excited to say that this video is in collaboration with Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. We are going to be doing a clean and daily declutter video every Monday in the month of October. As you can see from this hideous before of my pantry, it's time to do a bit of a pantry whip up, which I'm going to do off camera because we've got some more fun projects today. Ooh, ah. I always feel like a pantry whip up needs that kind of reaction. I will say, even though it looked like a pretty gnarly before, I did a pantry overhaul probably almost a decade ago and it holds its shape pretty well. It usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes. I think this one topped out at about 20 minutes because everything really just needs straightened in the bin. It just gets a little unkempt looking, but it doesn't honestly get very disorganized. So I wanted to tidy up the pantry because it's time to change over my to-go snack bins that are magnets and right on my fridge right there. And I switched over to a low FODMAP diet. I eat gluten-free and dairy-free and chicken egg-free and soy-free. So yeah, I'm that girl. Can you tell I'm from Portland? Anywho, time to redo those. Here I have all of my snack tins removed from my freezer door. I have washed them inside and out, lids and tubs, and I've now gathered what I need to refill them. Now these are healthy, low FODMAP, gluten-free, clean eating snacks that I can throw in my purse or into my lunch pail if I'm on the go I'm going to be out running errands or something and I know that I've always got a healthy protein and produce. I try to keep multiple varieties of low FODMAP nuts as well as dried cranberries, golden raisins, and golden and regular raisins. The cranberries I have to buy on Amazon because I don't eat sugar so to get a dried cranberry that is unsweetened is a little difficult but I did find them on Amazon and it's from a small business so I'm pretty happy about that whenever you can support someone in a small, small business even from an account on Amazon I'm happy to do so and I find that my snacks nuts and seeds dried fruits things of that nature are generally in my nuts and seeds bin as well as my breakfast bin because that is where I keep the raisins and the cranberries because they are for my oatmeal so I'm gonna finish up loading these and then I need to break into my Amazon bag because thank goodness for technology I woke up this morning and realized I didn't have two things that I wanted for my snack tubs on the freezer and I just typed them into Whole Foods Delivers on Amazon and they just dropped them at my door. It was pretty darn amazing, I must say. So they were there before it was time for me to even do my project. Here we have the finished tubs ready to have their lids put on them and get put back on the freezer. And these are the things that arrived from Whole Foods this morning. They are organic carrot and beet chips, which I love because that's a one ingredient food. This is just beets. And then the plantains I think are three ingredients, still very minimal. They're just plantains, coconut oil, and sea salt. So those are things that I pop in those bins to take with me on the road. So I have a little bit of vegetable a little bit of fruit, and a little bit of nuts for protein. And here we have my final finished product. Time to move on to our next tiny organization project for the day. I got all new bulk spice containers off Amazon. So fresh, clean, ready to go. They've been filled with bulk spices. I've labeled the fronts, but it's time to label the tops. So when you pull out the basket, you can see what's inside. I understand I'm a little label obsessed, but I always say people might make fun of you for your labels, but people are just inherently programmed to use them. So while my family would tease that there's actual labels on the shelves in the fridge, they would put things back generally where the label told them to, because as people, we're just kind of programmed to mind. So I am using these tiny labels and a chalk pen to go on top of my existing bulk spice containers. Now I have a chalk label on the front and that would work for me if I lived here alone because I don't mind kind of 
sifting around to find the one I need or also I kind of just know where each one is in my own basket let's be fair but my family likes to use them so you want to pull it out by the handle and now they'll be able to see just on the top from the labels which spice they need to pull out for whatever they are making themselves okay so let's get down to the real real does anyone else roll out of bed with their trusty doodle in the morning just to get their coffee and to get going on their exciting organizing projects because my labels came and my snacks were coming from my bins and i was just ready to do all the things so i took a quick shower this is the state i left my bathroom in which is pretty commonly how it looks when i finish up with a quick shower i even still had a bag of nail stuff out from the evening before and the coffee mug from the coffee I was drinking while I did my nails the evening before so this is a pretty real life look into my messy bathroom and it's time to whip those both into shape I will say that it doesn't help that Lou has toys and there I go throwing my husband's shirt literally into the closet yes I just did that throwing laundry off of the bed folding up pajama pants Putting our water cups beside the bed and removing loose blanket is pretty much how that goes for me. There you just saw me hide our wedge. We are getting old. We both sleep with a wedge. Until we spring for the Craftomatic adjustable bed, it's going to be an Amazon cheap wedge. But I just got really long curtains and I got wedge covers that match my bedding because also I'm that girl. And I just hide them behind the curtains and nobody is the wiser. Now this big quilt is Lou's blanket for our bed. He knows that he is not allowed onto the bed without his blanket. And he does spend a little time on our bed in the night. He tends to jump down and sleep on that furry, white, ironically looking bearskin rug, since he is our little bear. Um, but he does like to start the night in bed while we watch our show and he usually hops back up when daddy goes to work in the morning. So this is pretty much the state of things in the morning. I'm just going to straighten up again, clear our pajamas, clear any mugs, put our water bottles down beside the bed, clean them and refill them if need be. But basically it's just like anybody else's straighten up. I got this new bedding on Amazon. I know the whole world runs on Amazon, including our household, but I was really happy with it. And I got loose quilt, a gray and white pinstripe to match so that, um, so that, you know, I like the dog stuff to be fairly cohesive within our home. I, there's obviously going to be dog stuff. It's like when I have toddlers and I have toddler stuff, there isn't really a lot you can do about it, but I try to make it at least some semblance of looking like it matches. But I'm going to put my bed all the way back to square one, which I don't do every day, but I do do a couple times a week, more specifically when I change the sheets, but sometimes I like to get a nice, crisp, ready bed. And so we're going for that full look today. I don't need to dust and vacuum today. My hubby has been taking to vacuuming on the weekend. So the house was vacuumed and I dusted the living room and bedroom on Friday in preparation for knowing that he would probably be vacuuming on Saturday. Young me liked those things done more than once a week, but as I'm getting older and we all start to deal with health issues and we all start to feel our age a little bit, I'm a little less picky and those types of chores, I just like to get done on the regular. They don't need done every day. So generally for me every day, it's make the bed, quick tidy up of pajamas, grab the couple of mugs we usually have, hiding beside the bed or on our nightstands. And then after my shower, I do a quick bathroom tidy. And I always do wipe down the bathroom every day. It's not a full weekly clean, but I do give it a little bit of a wipe down every day. I find with products and hairspray and all that kind of stuff, it really just is necessary. I tend to make a giant fingernail mess about once a week, actually probably twice a week. So time to clean up all of my nail paraphernalia and get everything else put in its home so I can do my little wipe down. I am always partial also to leaving my makeup kit out. I am a makeup refresher. It's just who I am. I like to recurl my eyelashes, dust a little powder, put on a lip gloss throughout the day, at least before evening. And so I like my makeup bag also to be cohesive 
and to match that living space since I'm going to be using it fairly regularly. I would love everything to be put away all the time, but that's just not realistic. So I make sure that it looks tidy while it is out. And that is pretty much how that works for me in my household scheme. And here is that final reveal that we all crave. It is my bedroom set back to square one, made bed, ready to go for the day. As I said, in all fairness, I'm generally not a roll out of bed and make the bed kind of gal, although I do do it fairly early in the morning. I like to have my coffee and my doodle snuggles before I make the bed, and I do more often than not clean up the bathroom and wipe it down after my shower, although this morning I was just pretty excited to get to my organizing projects and share them with you, so I let that go. And that's okay. It's okay to let our morning routines change here and there and do what works for you best each day. Here is my final tidied bathroom. We don't have some huge, amazing master bath. We have a relatively small master bath, but I like to keep it very special, personalized with things from our favorite beach that we like to spend a lot of time on. And I really do want to say thank you all for being with me here today on my first official collab with Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life, almost my first ever clean with me. I did a tiny one years ago on an open invite playlist, but this is my first real clean with me video. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but I felt pretty productive and I enjoyed it overall. So I hope you come back and join me and Michelle on Mondays, every Monday in October for a clean and daily declutter video for all of you.